Alright guys, Bill, I'm here back with more Persona 5. Starting from where I left off, I believe we're about to finish the first palace here. Uh, or first jail, sorry, first jail. Um, be able to do that in a second. I am gonna listen to the big, well actually no, no, let's talk through things first. Let's talk through things first. So yeah, let's go to the jail here. We'll listen to the Big Brother uh, RJP podcast eventually. But, um, yeah. Uh, today kind of went as planned. I mean, uh, yeah, nothing too out of the norm. I did edit the entirety of my Amazing Race video. I did watch Laser's Persona 5 stream where we finished the end of the base game, and that was fun. Again, a lot of uh, great reactions from him on things. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I got to start to work on some other stuff. So I did write episode my episode one week. So while Big Brother Canada was on, um, I just finished editing, so everything was exploring stuff. So at that point, I was like, well, I might as well write. Like, it's, it's tough to write and take notes for the same show at the same time. Um, so I decided, okay, let's go and take notes for BB Can while the episode's on, but also write the review for the challenge all stars. So I started that, so I finished episode one of that. And then, uh. Wait, what? Should I should have been paying attention. It's here, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Is it here? Oh, okay. The searchlights are off now. Looks like the plan worked. Oh, I forgot that we did all of this just to fucking turn off the lights here. That's fucking dumb, isn't it? So I did um, start that, and then immediately after that, um, I was still catching up to Laser's live stream. I had about like an hour or so left, so I started working on the BB, uh, BB Can review. What? <laughs> so yeah, um, caught up on. Uh, sorry, not caught up. I, I did weeks one and two for BB Can. Which was a decent amount to get done there, and then uh, the plan on Wednesday is uh, the new circles, the four episodes of the circle come out, so I'll be watching that. Um, also, I will probably end up, um, fuck. Um, um, so yeah, new episodes of the circle, so I'll watch that, take notes on that. And while doing that, I will try to catch up on the Big Brother Candor uh, retrospective. Well, also, I mean, essentially, Wednesday's going to be a day for catching up on reviews. That's really what the plan for that day is. While also watching all these other shows. So that's what Wednesday's going to be focused around. Um, Twilight Prostitute, okay. Uh, fuck. I wasn't even an idiot. This is what I should have done. Uh, Actually, why am I wasting all my XP? That's not a good move, though. We don't have any more Ghana with us, do we? It's not real for sure. Mm. Let's get going. 
Wait, where? Oh, okay, it's this way. Uh, but yeah, so, um, yeah, then, uh, Friday we'll obviously be editing the challenge review, and then I'll try to get as much as I can done on the Sasuke 39 video, because that's the only, that's the last video that isn't video game related, uh, left. Respect, so. Yeah. And then after, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I think I'm gonna start watching the Survivor finales. Because this is the thing, um... Well, actually, I don't know. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, it's gonna be tough, isn't it? Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out, but um. All right, let's go. See, I was looking. So tell you what I ended up doing is I did take a quick look at the rest of the year um, for videos for my other channel because essentially this next batch of videos is essentially just wrapping up everything I can for this, for the rest of the year. That I can do as of right now. Um. I kind of realized that within that, like I already knew the finale ranking video was on there, ranking every finale from Survivor history. I knew that was there. I did not also real. I kind of forgot that the um, Australian Outback retrospective is also in there, um, which means I'll have to rewatch Australian Outback as well. Oh fuck. So I kind of forgot about that. The problem with watching Africa, though, well, did I say I was trying to hop back about Africa? Whatever. The, the problem with watching Survivor Africa is that I'm gonna need to actually pay attention. <laughs> I'm gonna need to take notes and everything. So, um, that's something I'm gonna fully need to dedicate time to. While the finales, that's not necessarily the case. I can watch that in the background, so. I might start the process of doing that soon. However, at the same time with the finales, I do also want to be um, uh, taking notes on Final Travel performances. Because that is a video that I've been wanting to do is uh, ranking all the final tra winning Final Travel performances. So, Oh fuck, we have to do this still. So. How do we do this? I mean, I'm assuming I have to figure this out. Yeah. I get nothing for those either. Switches in the busts. Try focusing. Hmm. Okay. Um. What's the differences here? Hmm. Um, but yeah, let's just finish talking about what I need to talk about. So, um... Oh, I'm a fucking idiot. I completely forgot that was a thing. But yeah, um, so... Yeah, we'll have to uh, do that at some point. But wait, what? That was all falling. What? Focus. Oh, is it like a okay? I can see it. Well, where do we start then? No shadows. At least not right up ahead. Focus. Which one's the first one though? I 
guess I'll try this one. Okay, so that was it. It's not this one then. What's that? That's gonna take a while. Uh, we'll figure it out when we get to it. Obviously, that's still like at least a month down the road, if not more. Probably more, considering again, like there's the 2021 gaming video, there's the two 13 Sentinel videos, there's the fucking what four Yakuza videos. Uh, I need to edit. Plus, also the shows that are coming up. So the Challenge All Stars, um, Challenge Double Agents is almost done. And then BB Can, two BB Can videos. Um, you got uh, the Circle. US, you have, um, there's one other thing, Stars of Africa, so it's like, I mean, <clears throat> that's, like, obviously that's why I'm able to work so far ahead in terms of, or I'm already working at the end of the year, um, and, the, like, a lot of that's because of these videos that can't be What's done that? just yet. Oh, we have it. another one? Uh... Yeah, that said, uh, let's just go ahead and uh, say hey, this. This is a fascinating time to be a podcaster. I mentioned this to Taryn on Friday. I genuinely feel like I'm in the dark and I'm watching everything and I'm keeping up with everything. So it's a fascinating time to be, be a Big Brother fan, I'll tell you that much. Wild. Wild. Yeah. And of course, uh, very excited to have uh, back with us tonight, Jenny Otter. Jenny, what are you at? Well, I am at Ontario. Uh, home of the Big Brother house, and we are currently in our third lockdown of the pandemic. So you might think no circuses happening this this, uh, this time of year in a lockdown, but there is a circus happening inside of the Big Brother Canada house, full of clowns, all sorts of hijinks going on, so it did not get shut down. It's no, real and no, happening. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. Okay, uh, speaking of, what are you at? Is that a, is that a real expression or is that a uh, it's like teenage an East Coast. It's like an East Coast. It's not like, it's not Ontario. It's uh, exclusively Maritimer, mm -hmm. I would like, say. Yeah, is, is Tina really trying to mainstream that? I mean, you just have to get a, a catchphrase. And like, that's not a Tina exclusive, but it's like, it's a Tina exclusive in the Big Brother Canada house. So that becomes her thing. And, and so it'll be on t-shirts uh, along with Big Brother. Um, so, so, I mean, that works. Branding. Okay. Take okay. it, run with it. Yeah, and also along the way right. too, obviously uh, we got this episode of Strike Fight Strikers video uh, coming. We'll in. We have the time to finish it in time with the fucking Mafia video. So like, there's a lot of stuff. Of, uh, Big Brother Canada. That's uh, still where are we at at this hour. And so, uh, yeah. a lot to talk about. Uh, um, Taryn, uh, I'm glad you uh, mentioned the pre-show narration from Mr. Announcer Man. Because he really uh, gave us like a, like a, it was almost like Kiefer was the announcer because there was so much Kiefer hype going on. I don't know about you, Rob, but I basically clipped the entire thing because he was having so much fun. Yeah, no, it was wild. Uh, Thank you for him. Yeah, incredible, incredible. Uh, that there was just uh, so much of it. It was basically like the story of, uh, really, uh, maybe uh, not since the uh, story of Easter have we had uh, like uh, the fall and resurrection of a hero. Yes, uh, a, a new character. Uh, we've all heard of the Easter Bunny, obviously. We've all heard of uh, the Muffin Man. Um, but uh, have we heard of the Mullet Man? The Mullet Man? Do you know the Mullet Man? I don't know, Rob, but... Uh... The Mullet Man stepped out of the grave. <laughs> so dramatic. Yeah. He did it. He did it. I, I think yeah, out of the grave. Is he talking about the Undertaker? Like is this a wrestling thing? No, WrestleMania was last weekend. No. Yeah. Oh, that's another thing too. Um. So it is looking like the Great Canada is going to be done in about two weeks. Um. I think. At least according to the people in the house, they seem to think it'll be done in two weeks. Um. 
Though I think I I think I scheduled the videos for too late. So I'm gonna do some rearranging there. We'll figure it out though. I've been pushing on by her show time. side reaction for you the the thruple not feeling like this was a great outcome of terror winning the hoh 
Yeah, the sauce is uh, really getting lost in the sauce on this one. And, and you can't blame them. Everything has went right for them up until this one HOH, right? So I would also be holding myself a big pity party. Especially if the person who we had on the block initially and we wanted to leave doesn't end up leaving. So it's kind of like their worst case scenario, but also it's, it's the sauce. So they will always find a way to convince themselves that they can find a way out of these situations. So it's a little bit of pity party, but not for too long. Yeah, Jenny, of the people that were in the throuple, uh, they really present this episode as uh, Ty is the only one that can see the right. But what turned them back into life? Their desires are still stolen. Maybe Alice has considered their owner now that they're in her birdcage here. Alice doesn't seem to believe they can be stolen back. That's why they turned back into their baseball. It does seem to follow logically. At any rate, if we reclaim the desires and release them from this cage, people may well return to normal. Yeah, it's definitely worth a try. One moment. How does one steal light? A calling card? What is that? It's how we make that shimmery light take material form. If we make the owner aware that someone is after their treasure, it takes form. Desire should work the same way. To do it, we send a calling card to our target that says we're going to steal whatever is most precious to them. I got it. I think. Are we sure it'll work, though? This isn't a palace with a treasure. Nothing is obtained without action. We must at least try first. For now, let's focus on securing our infiltration route. Hell yeah! I'm getting there first! Are you okay? What was that? I swear Skull ran into some kind of jail cell door. Is there another barrier? Am I hearing something? Sophie, wait! Just go away. What do you think you're doing looking at the guys like that? She is like such a waste of space, you know? Totally. She's such a loser. It hurts to look at her. <laughs> no. I just... What the hell was that? You heard it too? A memory hidden by the monarch. Sophie, are you alright? No problem here. However, I did figure something out. That memory we heard is the key to the barrier. How's that? This cage is currently locked. You're right. What's that doing there? It will require a key, which we will find in the room those voices came from. It will be some sort of secret room, but we can't find this room here. We need to return to reality. Oh, yeah, I forgot that, that uh, Horizon's now free, isolated. so I'll probably go ahead and install that. Only in the real world. How'd you know all that? One of your programs or something? I do not know. I merely sense it. Maybe the lock on this cage is somehow linked to a lock in Alice's heart. Monachan? If Sophie's right, what we heard just now is a memory of the monarch. That means it's extremely important to her. I have a feeling that memory is acting as the lock on her heart, keeping us from getting past that door. So the lock's an important memory. It's only natural that the So I guess we're not finishing this episode. No <laughs> episode. That logic is indeed sound. How is it possible? This is all just speculation so far. I've never seen anything like this either. This could be another difference between the palaces and this jail. We can't reach the secret room in this world, you said? Correct. We must find the location in reality instead. And that would be... I was not able to detect it. But it should be related to those voices somehow, right? Hmm. I could be wrong, but... Didn't it sound like someone was getting bullied? Looking at guys like that. Maybe school age? That could be! Brilliant deduction, Panther. I'm just no stranger to hearing that kind of stuff, is all. Panther. If she's right, does that mean the key we need is somewhere in Alice's old school? That would be logical. 
All right. Let's go do some investigating back in the real world next. We're gonna need a calling card, too. Looks like we've got our work cut out for us. I'm sorry. It's an easy. There were a lot of great clips from this uh, laser stream. <laughs> what the what? How are there no results? Really? But isn't stuff like where celebs went to high school easy to find online? Usually, yeah. But this time, no hits. Even on the underground sites. All I'm seeing is fake info from deluded fans. Even if she changed her name, there'd still be traces of that somewhere. Usually. Shit, even you can't find Futaba? This reeks of a serious scrub job. Someone, <coughs> probably her, intentionally hit her cast. This is quite the setback. We don't discover Alice is on the mall. I, I guess I should Never talk about that too. That um. Room. Yeah, Revenant's been pretty good on my YouTube channel <laughs> these last two days. Yeah, I found that. Yeah, my Jeff Probst um, casting video. Um, after two days now, CPM on it is uh, over ten. Or fuck, it's over fifteen dollars. So uh, that's pretty good. Um, I think yesterday ended up being a pretty good day revenue-wise, despite views kind of just being okay. So, that's cool. Um, we'll see how today plays out. I have a feeling CPM is going to start to slowly drop. Or, no, maybe not slowly drop, but I think it's going to start to drop. Uh, but we'll see. If, if today gets good CPM as well, then I'm still going to be making decent money today. Um, <clears throat> all things considered. Hmm. It's the guy from the shady detective. I'm pop set, not just some cop detective. Wait, I'm not shady. <laughs> yes, quite. These kids are something else. Would you quit saying that kind of stuff with that smile on your face? So what do you want? Come on, enough of the cold shoulder. You know I'm trying to help you out. You help us. You want to know where Alice Shiragi went to school, right? You can't find where that is. And that's exactly how someone wants it. For some reason, there's almost no personal info available on Alice Hiraki. Especially prior to her debut. That is just a big old blank. So, since this is giving you all a hard time, I have swooped in to lend a hand. Intel and Alice would be It is funny how, um, HQ, so I how still want some help? I haven't Good posted plan anything plan. on my. Yep, uh, just a little more time and I'll on get my, uh, Great. Happy to help. Twitter, yet yeah, people still follow my Twitter account. This is a real deal uh, connection here. Just be grateful and take the intel. We're sorry, we just have zero trust in the police. I told you to stop smiling when you say that. Fine, I've got to earn your trust first. I get it. Alice Hiragi is your senpai. Hmm. She attended Kosei High? Hmm? Uh, no, everyone's senpai. <laughs> okay, that's just dumb. <laughs> so stupid. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> I can't understand why that's so funny. It's so fucking dumb. It's so fucking dumb. Hard to gauge whether he's friend or foe. More importantly, how did he know where Alice went to school? Could the police already man. have their eyes on her as well? It's possible. And it would mean that we can trust him. For now, at least. Well, I guess all we can do now is try it. We'll find the secret room if we go to Shuja, right? That appears to be correct. Everything should go. And we'll have access. Wow, 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 huh? <laughs> sure. Yeah. That's settled. Let's all head to Shuja now. There's no point in dawdling here. I have thought about oh yeah that's something I did add the mafia video to my schedule it's for next year hmm. I mean like even if we do end up making it now it's like I feel like I'm almost guaranteed to make it next year to us I've been kind of thinking that like maybe I'll just hold off on playing mafias two and three anyway 
Just because, like, too, I'm not, like, I, there's no rush. Like, uh, I don't have room on the schedule for it until next year anyway. And I feel like there's just other games I'd rather be playing. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it works out. And if we end up having, like, two weeks in between when we finish Strikers and when Wrath of Druids comes out, we'll just play it anyway. Because at that point, it's kind of like a why not sort of thing. Um, actually, no, because, like, by then, maybe I should play, just play Revelations. I didn't even think about that until now. Yeah, maybe we'll play Revelations. Get that out of the way. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll, we'll have to see how much time we have in between. Um, it's between this and the next episode. Fuck, like we're really going to another thing? Fuck. How long is this game? This game actually, maybe this game is really fucking long. Hmm. Like, obviously I assumed that. And I did see that, like, oh, it's 30, 35 hours. But it's like, it didn't really feel like it was setting up to be, but like... Now that we're like still not finishing this fucking palace, then maybe it is fucking long. Um, yeah, we're gonna end here. Uh, I'll probably end up starting the download on Horizon, but uh, yeah, for now, thanks for watching.